So we are back at Exponential 24, and I'm really proud to present Dennis Pan from CZI. And Dennis has been here since the start of the show, and they've been very gracious to actually give us a really good scoop here for some new products that are just about to come out here for the M300 and the 350. So we have a thermal camera sensor here. We have also a spotlight and loudspeaker combination, as well as new LED lights down for the bottom. So, you know, Dennis, we've been uh, talking back and forth for a couple years now. We've been a big supporter and advocate for everything that CZI sells. Yes. And I'm really, it's really glad to, to finally meet you in person and really help you uh, introduce your new product lines. Yes, thank you. So, this is the DT1K. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the DT1K? Uh, actually, uh, you, you guys may know we have a night vision camera C30N. Yes. C30N integrated with thermal camera, RGB camera, uh, IR spotlight, and uh, range uh, laser range finder. But DT1K is just the uh, simplified version of a C30N. It just has the, the thermal camera, the single thermal camera. But this camera is uh, with uh, 1K uh, high resolution, and it can do also uh, 3D mapping by using the thermal camera. Yeah. So uh, it's uh, this uh, specialty of the TT1K. We will be also, you know, giving you a complete video rundown on this as well, giving you a lot of footage and sample footage that you can see for yourself on here. And what, Dennis, I gotta say, the first, what I really like the most about this, right off the bat, mm -hmm. was how light this is. Uh, about 900, 900 grand. That's light. Yeah, very light. Yes. That's a very light yeah, camera. It's going to give us a lot yeah. more flight time in the air. Yes, yes, sure. It's going to be a very stable the lighter, aircraft. You'll fly the longer. Right. Yeah. 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 So then we also now have this right here. For those of you that are familiar with the Matrice 30, and now we have this is the LP35. Mm -hmm. So why don't you talk and uh, talk to us about the LP35? It's especially uh, made for uh, M300 and M350. Uh, it's a uh, put on the top uh, to connect with the OSDK port uh, to get the uh, power and to get the uh, software communication. Because uh, previously we had a uh, MP130 uh, speaker, we cannot put on the top due to the, uh, the magnet is too big to jam the, uh, the, uh, the navigation of the, the drone, but now we make it smaller, then uh, we solve this problem. Mm -hmm. uh, so with two speakers, so with the, you can reach to uh, 125 dB, and I think you guys may already know the uh, 60 uh, Mini. GL 60 Mini. Yeah. So it's a combo uh, together. Yeah. So to to fit for the uh, M300 and M350. Yeah. And yeah. so this really is like an LP12 on steroids. It's this like it's it's like the Incredible Hulk here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this really is like the GL 60 Mini right here. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna go ahead. And we'll turn this on. You can see. We'll, again, we'll we'll have more footage of that as well. But it's very bright. And we're going to show that to you now. Mm. It has the flashing lights as well. Yeah. Can and be single blue, single red. Yep. And blue red. Uh, the gimbal is uh, three axis. Can be uh, pan, can be pitching, yeah. can be raw. And that's very, very nice. Yeah. And that's what, I, you know, on all of your products on the Matrice 30 line, I really love the GL60 Mini because that is the only light that will sync on the pan axis yeah. that is available right yeah. on here. And this is exactly the same mm -hmm. type of design that we have now for the LP35. So Good. that is a really great feature to be able to have and, and be able to synchronize is really important. Two loudspeakers on here. I can only imagine how loud this is gonna be. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm anxious to be able to try it. And then, so we've had the FL48 yeah. LEDs yeah, yeah. Uh, that go on the booms as well. Yeah, go on now the, you have a new product out here called yeah. the FL60. Yes. What can you tell us about that? Uh, for, F for FL60, it's uh, more powerful than the FL48. And more, more function, the FL60 can have uh, more uh, colors of the light. Uh, so it's uh, not just for law enforcement identification, it can also be for some uh, civil use. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's the specialty. Yeah. Yep. So and then, like you you mentioned, you have a lot. You have more products coming out for different aircraft as well. Yeah. 
So, like, you want to tell, tell us anything? Uh, what other DJI Enterprise uh, stuff is on the horizon? Yes, yes. Uh, for Marvel 3 Enterprise, we have a job kit called uh, DH1. Uh, with two hooks, you can uh, jog to, uh, how to say, uh, 600 grams. Yeah, 600 but, uh, grams. But you know, uh, the Marvel 3 Enterprise, uh, the max uh, takeoff weight only allow 100, 130 grams for the payloads. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, uh, DJI's drone, they had the uh, uh, MTOW, uh, uh, how to say, uh, design redundancy. So, no problem, you can take more weight. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, lots of great stuff from CZI. Uh, Everything you know, I can. I think you also have something for the dock too, don't you? Ah, and, yes. And uh, yes, we had two. Yeah, we had two new uh, models for for dock two matrix 3D. Uh, one is the MP20, another is the LP20. Uh, but these two models will be ready uh, available for demo uh, two months later. So please stay tuned. Okay. Yeah. Well, thanks very much. It was great uh, meeting you in person. Yeah. Thank you very much for the scoop on here. We're, we're the only ones in the and the entire event that has these sensors on here. We're very proud to present them for you. Yeah, thank you. And we're looking forward to our continuing our collaboration going forward in the future. Thank you. Thanks again. Thank you. All right, guys, thanks for watching.